I guess we'll find out in due course from the data that's released in, in a month, but did it have the characteristics of intervention? Uh, you know what, Heidi, it actually did. Uh, it was the price action and the way that... Um, I spoke to a couple of chaps in New York before they went home and uh, that what they described or what they saw was much like what happened on Monday and, you know, a situation where, you know, Dolly N was, say, around 155.70, um, just pick a number, um, you know, suddenly our offers would come in, um, some, of, some of which came from Japanese banks, um, all the way, like, 20 points through the level, um, at least 10 points through the level. Now, that's not... Um, typically how uh, the Japanese banks, uh, you know, clear their business. Um, it does seem um, predatory uh, in terms of, the, um, you know, the effect on the market. Um, and I think that, you know, I, I was actually sceptical. I thought they might have, um, on, on my, after Monday's effort, I thought it might have just been, um, you know, the authorities checking rates, um, just asking for levels, which is like a precursor to intervention. Uh, but since then, having heard what um, uh, transpired, you know, after the uh, Powell press conference in New York, uh, I think that, um, you know, the ducks are starting to quack a little bit louder <laughs> and it's um, starting to appear more and more like intervention. Uh, you know, having said that, I don't think they're going to be uh, happy at all with the, the way it's... Um, recovering so um so well and so quickly we're up near um up near 156 after hitting that 153 low uh 15304 i think it was in new york didn't spend any time down there at all um so there's obviously a, a, a lot of uh, residual uh, demand for it but um you know as far as the intervention question is concerned um you know the I think it's becoming um, apparent, uh, although, the, you know, like, like you mentioned at the start, um, we do have to wait, you know, to the end of the month if I get confirmation one way or the other. Um, you know, Canada did push back. Um, you, you know, it wasn't cagey or anything like that. He just didn't want to be drawn into any sort of commentary about it, and that's fair enough. But, you know, that does leave, um, you know, uh, dealers who are, you know, incredible conspiracy theorists, um, you know, to draw their own conclusions. Uh, and they'll, you know, as soon as, if you're, um, mm. if you're buying dolly yen and suddenly you get, you know, given um, your dollars by a Japanese bank, you probably spin around um, and sell them straight back out and get on with it and, and try and see, to see how low it goes. Um, because currently that's a, that, that's just been the wave of it uh, right now. Um, further out, I think that, um, so uh, you yeah, know, sorry. Well, I'm, I'm curious, yeah, further out, do, which way do you think the, the yen's going to go? Are we looking at, at 150 to the dollar or is 160 more in play? That's, that's the M Life question of the day today. Uh, there is a, uh, a lot of um, actual um, buying uh, from customers, um, you know, fund managers, uh, real money, uh, macro funds, to buy dolly yen from like 152 and below uh, down to about 149. And um, that 152 level more or less was basically where we took off from um, from that hot US CPI level. Uh, and so, we, you know, it sort of gapped up, never came back, and it's working its way back down there now, eventually, perhaps. Um, so I think the market has still got that propensity uh, to, to buy the dip. And uh, if you look at the options market, the risk reversals in dollar yen for like the one month uh, period, um, they're actually cheaper. Well, you know, I think they hit a one month uh, low uh, yesterday, um, and they're, they're not they're not far from there now. So I think that um, the one sixty seventeen high we saw on Monday, that's still um, still very much in play.